Hey guys, it's Philly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today we are talking about James Charles because he has truly messed up and people are noticing it and it's not just the big mess up that occurred that was more than just a mess up. It was horrible what it had occurred and what he's been getting called out for with messaging the 16 year old saying he didn't know about this guy's age when this is an event that has happened before we have heard james say oh i didn't know their age and i was lied to before so for james to be reckless and give an apology and then go on twitter and if you go under james's current likes you can see that he is liking things that are trying to discredit this 16 year old that came out with the TikTok saying, you know, James Charles was messaging me. And I just think, why? Why are you doing that? Why? I, I literally don't even have the words. Like James Charles came out with this long apology about how regretful he was that he did this, that it wasn't anyone else's fault but his, that he was taking accountability for this. And now suddenly you're going to be liking things that goes against and trying to discredit the person that is calling you out. I mean, according to the law, the law, James Charles, the adult in the situation, is the one at fault for what had occurred. It was on him, it was his responsibility to make sure the person that he was talking to was of age. And I said this in my last video covering James Charles, that I feel as though James doesn't feel like he has to really be careful like he doesn't really have to be checking ids making sure the people that he's talking to are what they're saying they are and who they're saying they are because of what he said on logan paul's impulsive podcast and if you guys didn't see it it's this clip of james saying that you know because of my sister because of everything that went down when tati jeffrey and shane called him out and he was getting completely canceled by the internet when all of that went down now nowadays when guys or anyone calls him out for doing something his fans are like leave him alone let him be he's been through enough but i i will say like after everything that happened last year we having to like get in front of millions of people and prove that i wasn't a or like that kind of helps my narrative my case <laughs> now like when people do try to do that everyone's like you're like this like cut it out like yeah. leave him be and i think that mentality has stuck with him even through now, through this situation, that this is just another situation that is just going to blow over. People are going to forget about it. It's all going to be fine and dandy. And I honestly don't think that that is the case. I think there's so many people out here saying, why is James posting on Instagram like normal? Why is James back to uploading like normal? He's uploaded multiple videos now at this point. And people just are like, this is unacceptable. And I think this one really just pushed everything over the edge, him liking these tweets, trying to discredit the 16 year old, because at the end of the day, he admitted that it was on him. And now it's just like, okay, is this how you really feel about the situation that you're not really the one at fault here, even though according to laws you are. So I'm going to read you guys what this tweet actually says. And this person that he liked the tweet from has actually been tweeting a lot about the person that James was messaging on Snapchat and saying that this is something that this person does a lot, lie about their age. And once again, I'm going to say that even if you are being lied to about someone's age and they're younger than they say they are and you are an adult, it is still on you. And as someone, James, who has been through so much getting called out and all of this stuff, you would think he would try to be more careful, but no, obviously he thinks he's too good to be careful. So the things that he liked were this person's tweet saying, oh, James Charles, y'all, please help me get this out. And it says, didn't think I'd be saying something, but this James Charles scandal has gone too far for once. I'm on James's side because about two years ago, I spoke to the same guy who's from, he added me randomly off of Snapchat one day and like a regular person, I slid on his story and asked, who he was he never replied until later that night by sending explicit photos of him i told him to chill because i didn't know him and he proceeded to send pictures saying he was strong and acting crazy that night like any other person i asked 
for his age and he said he was 17 so me being 17 as well i thought nothing of it so we continued to snap that night it lasted around three months and he would always use the same excuse that he was drunk or hot every time he'd send me pictures and after that while he posted on his story wishing a happy birthday to his friend who had just turned 15. I got suspicious because who would be friends with someone that much younger than them and I changed my Snapchat user and messaged him and asked his age again and he admitted to being 14. So I ignored him and I didn't speak to him ever again but he would constantly send me snaps and messages and I asked him after a while why did he lie about his age and he never responded. He chose to unadd me and it was crazy because he does this all the time many people have seen some of my videos or comments and have spoken up that he has private stories where he claims so many men message him and he's dating them and people from his school have gone through the same experience as well with him and it's not james's fault this man lies way too much his age wasn't in his bio at all whatsoever about four days ago when he came on my for you page which was around the time he was messaging his friend and james at the same time he set up James, and it's scary that people don't believe James. This part at the end here is a little confusing because they're saying that this person that was messaging James did not have their age in their bio. Now, what they're referring to is that a lot of people have been saying that James originally said that he saw this person on his Instagram explore page. And when he went on his Instagram, he saw that this person was already following him. And so he added him on Snapchat because one of his Instagram stories was his Snapchat. Switch your car insurance to Aegeus and get a 25 pound Amazon voucher only with money supermarket. At username. And people are saying that he also has another story showing off his TikTok. And it was a screenshot of his TikTok username and his bio and stuff that just says like, follow me. And in his bio, it said that he was 16 years old. And it said that this was posted 11 weeks ago. And so a lot of people were saying, you know, how could James have not have seen that? And this person is saying that the age wasn't in the bio, whereas a lot of people have been saying it was on his story. It had to have been there. James had to have seen it. I don't know if James saw it or not. James is claiming he did not see it on his Instagram. He didn't know it at all. This person was lying to him. He didn't know anything. But people were just like, how could he not? And this person is saying that they did not have the age in the bio at all. But I mean, the situation is just that I don't understand why James was liking this. This is just something that James should not speak on in this way, because at this point he's already apologized. He's saying that he's taking accountability. He's going to be checking IDs. He's not going to be doing this anymore. So he should essentially just leave it at that and try to better himself and really reflect on what happened and make sure that it never happens again but for him to be liking things that are against the person that is coming out and saying this stuff like hey this is what happened between james and i it's concerning to a lot of people and obviously a lot of people have been pointing it out like why did james like this it definitely has people thinking did he really mean what he said in his apology does he really think it's his fault or is he just saying that because a lot of people are coming for him so i definitely want to know how you guys feel about this situation because there are a lot of people that are like, why?